Let us now see how would we define a rotated or oriented bounding box. So a rotated bounding box is defined using five parameters. The first four parameters are the same as in the case of horizontal bounding boxes using the center width and height method. So X and Y would represent the center of the rotated bounding box and W and H would represent the width and height of the rotated bounding box. The additional parameter here is theta, which is the angle parameter. Now, how we interpret the width, height and theta depends upon two definitions for rotated bounding boxes. The first one being the open CV definition and the other being the longest definition. Now, what the open CV definition says is that the width of the rectangular rotated bounding box would be the lower edge of the rectangle. And the angle theta would be angle that this lower edge makes with the x axis. So therefore, we see that the angle in this case would have a 90 degrees angular range from 0 to minus 90 degrees. The other definition is the longest definition. Now, this definition defines the width of this rectangular rotated bounding box to be the longer edge, which in this case is this and in this case is this. And the angle theta to be the angle that this longer edge of the rectangular rotated bounding box makes with the x axis. So therefore, this angle will now have a 180 degree angular range from minus 90 to plus 90 degrees. Another thing to note here is if we consider these two cases of open CV and longest definitions, these are equivalent. That means the width and the height and the angle are exactly the same in both the definitions. However, when we look at the bottom case, what we find is there is an interchange in the width and the height and the angle that is defined in both these cases have a difference of 90 degrees.